Okay, today we're talking about a third type of transformation called a rotation. A rotation is a transformation that turns a figure around a given point called the center of rotation. Okay, and when we're rotating points about the origin, there's a couple rules that we can follow to help us figure out where to put our points, and I wrote those down for you here. Okay, when we're doing a 90 degree clockwise rotation, we want to change the sign of the x coordinate and then switch the x and y coordinates. When we do a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, we're going to change the sign of the y coordinate and then switch the x and the y coordinate. And then the easiest one to do is a 180 degree rotation where you're going to change the signs of both the x and the y coordinates. So let's start off with one of those easy ones. Number one here, we're asking you to rotate trapezoid ABCD 180 degrees. If you take a look, we have a trapezoid here on the coordinate plane. And if we follow our rule for 180 degree rotation, we're going to change the sign of both the x and the y coordinates on all of these vertices. And that's how we can rotate this trapezoid 180 degrees. Well, if we're going to change the signs of those, the first thing we should probably figure out is what are the coordinates. So let's take a look at the coordinates on our pre-image here. Point A has coordinates of 1, negative 1. Point B has coordinates of 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. Point C has a coordinate of, looks like, 0, negative 3. And point D has coordinates of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3. Alright, so those are the coordinates of our image as they are. And if we apply our rule for 180 degree rotation, we're going to change the sign of both coordinates. So our point A prime, when we move this image, is going to be at negative 1, positive 1. We change the x to a negative 1, we change the y to a positive 1. B prime will have coordinates negative 4, positive 1. C prime will have 0, positive 3. Remember, 0 is neither positive nor negative, so we don't change, have to worry about changing that sign. And lastly, D prime is going to be negative 5, positive 3. So let's go ahead and put these points on the coordinate plane. So A prime, when x is negative 1, y is positive 1, and there's where we would find point A prime. B prime, when x is negative 4, y is 1, and there's where we'll put B prime. C prime, when x is 0, y is 3, it's going to be right here. And lastly, D prime, when x is negative 5, y is 3, and there's our d prime, and we connect those points, and there you can see that trapezoid ABCD has been rotated 180 degrees about the origin. Okay, same thing over here on this triangle, where it asks us to rotate triangle EFG 90 degrees counterclockwise. Take a quick look for a counterclockwise rotation. Our rule says to change the sign of the y coordinate and then switch the x and y coordinates. So, first, just like we did before, we should first probably write down those coordinates. So, here we go. We got point E, point F, and point G. Point E has coordinates. x is negative 1, y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, 5. Point F has coordinates negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we'll call it negative three, and two. And point G we're going to call negative one and two. So one more time, if I go back to my rules here, I think we needed to change the sign of the Y coordinate and then flip the X and the Y. So here we go. E prime, if I change the sign of the Y coordinate, that five will become a negative five but then I need to reverse my x and my y. So e prime is going to be negative 5, negative 1. We change the sign of the y coordinate, and then we reverse the x and the y. f prime, change the sign of the y coordinate, that 2 is going to become negative 2, and then we're going to flip the x and the y, so we'll make it negative 2, negative 3. 
And lastly, g prime is going to give us negative 1, negative 2, which we flip to make negative 2, negative 1. Let's plot these three points. When x is negative 5, y is negative 1, and there's where we find e prime. When x is negative 2, y is negative 3, and there's where we'll put point f prime. And lastly, when x is negative 2, y is negative 1, there we find point g prime. Connect the vertices, and you have a rotation of triangle EFG 90 degrees counterclockwise. If you follow the rules, you'll never go wrong when you're rotating polygons around the coordinate plane.